Did you pick that music? The weirdos. Yes. They are awesome. Appropriately. All right. What are we going to talk about now? <laughs> oh, yes. So in Chicago alone, during the three-week trial of George Zimmerman, three teens and a five-year-old boy were gunned down. From the start of 2012 through July 7th of this year, the city has seen 710 murders, nearly all blacks. That's alarming, but so is the fact that 6,300 blacks are killed each year, and not by whites or Hispanics or the newly minted white Hispanic. 91% of black homicides committed by black offenders. So why does the Zimmerman trial get all the ink, but that doesn't? Well, for the right radi white radical, that is, there's no one to condemn. White against black, they get that. Black on black, pass. White agitators causing riots see blacks as pawns for polarization, part of the anti-American radicalism designed to foment chaos. But what about black leaders? Why do they talk about gun violence instead of gang violence? Our president has the pulpit. If he talks, everyone will listen. Is there a reason he won't? Maybe he likes conflict because, like me, he wants Nancy Grace's head to explode <clears throat> live on TV. I get that. Or maybe he's paralyzed by decades of politically correct education, which pushed the view that cracking down on black crime may be racist. It's as if expecting responsibility is bigoted, when in fact not expecting it reveals an ugly view of blacks, usually held by the KKK. And now pretty much every white liberal beta male in media. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. Made a mail. They, bl uh, Andrea. A lot of these uh, commentators blamed the system, but who runs the system in in these cities? It's it, it's not uh, Dick Cheney. <laughs> and what system are they talking about? Because the same system um, that found a not guilty verdict with George Zimmerman also found not guilty with O.J. Simpson. They said the system worked back then. So selectively, the yeah. system works. Um, I do think that the system does work. Is, can it be flawed? Absolutely. Bob and I have mentioned this case in Missouri. Um, but, Greg, your intro was perfect. President Obama would be an excellent messenger on this. He's a great father. Mm -hmm. He wears his pants up high. In fact, almost too high, the mom jeans. <laughs> uh, but he made it cool to go to college, and he's half white, mm -hmm. just like George Zimmerman. He's the perfect person to talk about responsibility. He's only done it one time in Chicago. He should absolutely uh, do it more. But Colonel Allen West told me today, he says, they want to keep black people down and distract them from the fact that they're failing under this economy, under Barack Obama. What do you think, Bob? Uh, we talk about having a national conversation on race. Uh, shouldn't there be, I always think ideally black leaders from Alan West to Al Sharpton should meet and have a real honest to God discussion. I, I think that would be a good idea. But let's, let's take a look at the Chicago thing. This is a war in Chicago, right. a drug war right. between the Bloods and the Crips who have now taken over the, the turf up there as they have in Albany, as they have in New York. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to, in a war, you're going to get a lot of people killed. Mm -hmm. And that goes on every day. They plan these things out. So to try to suggest that somehow Chicago is representative of the rest of the country when they've got a drug war going on, and most of these killings in the black community are over drugs. A lot of people get hurt by that, that five-year-old kid is a good example of that. But I'm not so sure that a president or anybody else is going to convince a I, hardcore gangbanger to not shoot. i got to so, tell you, man, it worked in New York. In so, New York, they've, they've clamped down on it, and they're sending people from New York to Chicago, so they, it can be done. But can we just point something out? That it, yes, you're 100% right. The vast majority is gang-related and black-on-black crime. They're, they're, they're killing each other. We get it. But we didn't have Eric Holder today come to the NAACP and say, hey, we need to stop that. Black kids are shooting black kids, and that's got to stop. He said, we have to look at laws that may, um, that may undermine public safety like the stand-your-ground law. Really? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Attorney General? How about taking on, how about being the leader and step up and say, this is where we should be? Bob, you yourself admit that there's far more... Um, uh, urgency to, to, to stop that type of crime then than one Trayvon Martin that gets shot by a Listen, George Zimmerman. The, 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 the biggest problem here is I do not believe Zimmerman was a racist. I don't think this is a trial about race. However, people have taken it and have run with it. I'm, now, right, I'm to, writing this down. I, I you realize I'm writing this fine, down that you ahead. say it's not about race I because if it's not about race, race. Yeah, the, uh, the DOJ has absolutely no case oh, in Zimmerman. Oh, the DOJ, DOJ, they have no case going forward. I'm well, just, I'm not so sure no, that they, they have a case either. I don't have any idea. Uh, Dana, by the way, the O.J. Simpson, does anybody believe for a second that O.J. Simpson didn't do that? Not even O.J. Let me get break, exactly. let, let me break Dana here. The thing that, that's probably most frustrating is that there's, there's a lot of independent uh, uh, thinkers on, uh, uh, among black leaders. There's Thomas Sowell. Yeah. There's Shelby Steele. There is uh, Larry Elder and Alan West. The problem isn't 
with uh, the, uh, blacks listening to them. It's white liberal media who mock them. Uh, it, when, when a black leader comes out and says something about personal responsibility or whatever, they're the ones that are always attacked. It's almost the media. Is the, it's the media that's the issue. It's the selective outrage. And also, if you look at something like, why get mad about um, the Trayvon Martin piece and not about something else? I mentioned, I just wanted to pull up yesterday, that um, the, the public high school, high school graduation rate, yeah. So for black Americans uh, nationwide, it is 66.1%. Mm -hmm. That is what the real crime is because that leads to everything else. And why yeah. do you get involved in drugs? Why do you get involved in games? If you, it goes back to what Martin Luther King Jr. talked about, which is education. Mm -hmm. And so m hopefully, if they're going to have this big protest next Saturday night, then can they then pivot and figure out a way to then channel that energy into something really positive and to hold schools and cities and counties responsible to make sure that these young people have the same access to education that everybody else should have in America. Right. By, by the way, that was Bobby Kennedy's major message, and he was the only white person who could pull that off, and he, that was his major message about education in the black community. All right, uh, actually, it was President Bush's point, too. Yeah. That was what No Child Left Behind was all about. And it was my point, too. All right, come on. <laughs>